with new seasons come new recipes, new menu items at local restaurants. Syrah Restaurant just opened, uh, what, two months ago? Two months ago. On Bay Settlement Road here in Green Bay. And we have uh, Chef Todd Bowman and Dennis Fenrick, the owner. Thank you both for joining us. Glad to be here. Thank you. So let's start with you because um, you've got kind of a, a good applesauce pork chop sort of menu item. Exactly. Two of my favorite things, pork and, and apples. apples yeah. uh, we make the applesauce from scratch. Ooh. Um, and because we're a wine bar, we throw a little Chardonnay in there, so it's got a nice sweet little tang to it. Okay. Um, super easy recipe. Why don't you bring um, us through it? If you use a food mill, you don't even need to peel or seed your apples. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is cutting these off, cutting these in half. They've already been washed. No matter what kind of apples you use? Um, it's all matter of flavor. Um, every once in a while I like to do the Granny Smith. The Red Delicious makes a really sweet applesauce though. Okay. Um, so I got my apples in there. Doing about uh, three quarters of a cup of Chardonnay in there. Uh, a little bit of thyme. One cinnamon stick. And uh, all you're going to do is cover that. Mm -hmm. uh, turn on a medium, medium high heat and let it hang out for about 40 minutes. About 40 minutes. Yep. And then when that's done, um, if you have a food mill, mm -hmm. or what I use here is uh, just a colander okay. with, with the stick. Food strainer, you push it through there. All all the, so you would dump that all into here, Yep. and you're just pushing it through. Pushing it through, yep, mashing it in. Your seeds and your skin all stay behind, right. and all you're left with is a nice, beautiful sauce. Is this it right here? This is it right here. Oh, okay, wonderful. We just add a little bit of is sugar to that. Is that warm right now? It's warming up right now, A yep. little bit? I'm gonna, do you mind if I try a little bit? Of course bite? not. Okay. So then how do you incorporate it into the dish? And then just to finish that dish, all we're going to do is take a little bit. Oh my goodness. And just kind of dredge it in there. That is wonderful. That's good stuff. And that's it. Awesome. Wow, delicious. Okay, so Dennis, why don't you talk a little bit about, about the wine that would go with something like this? Absolutely. Because this is a um, very much a traditional German dish mm -hmm. um, with the apple and the pork, uh, we're going to pair that with a nice, uh, a nice Riesling. We're actually going to use a Wisconsin Riesling, Wollesheim, which is based out of Wisconsin. Um, really nice wine, has a little bit of fig and, and pear flavor. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of that, along with your pork chops and applesauce. Mm. Really nice complement to the dish. And uh, just really makes for a nice um, rounding out of the of the apple and the pork together. Oh, that looks absolutely beautiful. And I know you have, um, do you have some sort of a food pairing event coming up? We do, yeah. We're doing, uh, next Tuesday, uh, we are doing a beer dinner with Central Waters Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. We're doing a four-course uh, four dinner with them. And we'll be pairing a beer uh, with each one of our courses. Sounds fantastic. What are you going to be making for us next hour? Uh, next hour, we have our deep fried ravioli stuffed with spaghetti squash. Are you joking? Very, very Because nice. that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. That sounds amazing. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, uh, Dennis and uh, Chef Bowman from Syrah Restaurant. Thank you both. Thank and you. we will be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.